Good morning, guys. Check out the view from our window. This is the best view from any bedroom window I've ever had. Alright, we're up and out of bed, and it's time to pack up our stuff in here. We've got a lot of loose stuff. Literally, this place gets such a mess so quickly just because there's so little space. So we've got to work on putting things back right away. But everything's packed up post bed already from last night, thanks to Luke. Anyways, let's get packed up. You ready for another road trip? You ready to go to Lake Louise? All right, we're all packed up. Kitty may or may not be ready to go. She's actually been really good on this trip. I expected her to take a little while longer to get used to everything and being in a new spot and traveling and everything, but she's been really good. Real good. So we are off to Golden, our first stop. We've got our GoPro set up, but there's a ton of bugs on the windshield, so I'm just gonna go out and clean the little area in front of the GoPro. Get those driving time lapses for you guys out there. How's it look? Way better. <laughs> better. bought some groceries to save on foods here in Golden. We are now going to try and sort out a little technical issues with the vlogging and then we're heading to Lake Louise and Banff next. So big day ahead of us. Let's roll. And look at this. There's our RV and somebody else's. How cute. Quick pull over already. We are at the Spiral Tunnels. It's a train that goes up the mountainside here, and I guess you can see a tunnel where it enters, goes around, and then comes out on the other side of the mountain. We're here in a train even. We're wondering if we're gonna catch a train. Let's find out over here, but. Oh no, I think a tour bus found us. Get ready for the swarm. Honestly, not the most exhilarating thing I've ever seen, but it's hot. For a quick pull over, why not? Stretch your legs. We're back on the road, and next stop is Lake Louise. Just a couple of other RVers here. We got cool in this place. What? Nice one, Lake Louise. Louise. Yeah, it's not completely thawed yet. Otherwise, it'd be like a bright blue color, but still pretty beautiful. So we walked around the lake, checked out all that, it just started to melt. They thought it might still be frozen, but saw a bit of melting. Then we walked through the Fairmont Hotel. Now we're going to finish our way through the forest here. Then we're back to the RV and towards Banff. So big day still. Not bad for what's going to only be the second episode of our RV trip across Canada. Is this your first time camping here? It is, here? yes. Yeah? Okay. There's a big list of items that can never get left unattended because of the amount of wildlife we have in the, in the area. Right. Last night we had two bears in the campground. At the same time, okay. really, really don't want that because it poses danger to them and also to 
us. Right. Um, so no clean dishes, no barbecues, no food. Um, even bug spray, that kind of stuff, oh, has yeah. to be put inside. So you're gonna go straight, make a left-hand turn. You're gonna pass both the bus stop and the water station for seeds at the front. It's nice, good views. Um, shower building is right there. Right there, perfect. Yeah. Have a good night. Thanks. Thank Take you. Care. All right. So this is our little campsite. It's really nice. Don't get me wrong. It is very crowded, and you know. There's obviously a lot of people here, and you don't get a lot of space. But, for $32 a night, instead of having to book a hotel, we've got showers, power. Yeah, we get electricity here, which is always a plus, I guess. And definitely cheaper than a hotel. And definitely cheaper than the gas it would cost to go in and out of the national park to go find somewhere to camp for cheaper, so... Pretty good! Oh, and also, that view from the dinette window ain't bad either! All right, well, I get some work done. Look who's gonna make us some dinner. Me? What are you making us? Uh, I broke the card in my mouth. So tonight. <laughs> so tonight on the menu, we are going to boil up some noodles, strain them, and then cook up some soup and add the noodles so you have additional nutrients in your soup. Filler hack. That's a Luke meal classic. <laughs> wow, so smart. Not quite Alicia's hamburgers and cooking, but... Thanks for making dinner. Alrighty, Luke has served dinner. Let's see how it is. Mmm. Good work, Luke. Good morning, world. Good morning. We are in Tunnel Mountain Village, Banff, right now. Village 2, technically. We like it here. Yeah, it has kind of like a Yosemite vibe. We went to Yosemite National Park down in California uh, last spring. Actually, mm -hmm. almost exactly a year ago. Yeah. It just has like a different vibe, like a hiker slash like... Nature-y, outdoorsy nature, vibe. Yeah. Everyone's pretty laid back and chill. Mm -hmm. Kay's been getting used to RV life already, so she's calmed down and she still isn't like a huge fan of driving. She kind of just hides in her tunnel the whole time, but she's liking it so far. If you come to Tunnel Mountain, b 70s probably the spot with one of my favorite views here. You got the big mountain and the valley over there. Beautiful. You got the roadway here, but it should quiet down at nighttime and honestly, these views probably worth it. All right guys, we're going for a jog. <laughs> we're normally not like joggers at all really. Um, we've gone on a few jogs in our lifetime, but we've been feeling a little cooped up in the RV lately. We have an Anytime Fitness membership, so we always go there, but we haven't stopped by any on the way here to Banff yet because there hasn't been any yet. It's been like quite a few days now of just no exercise at all. We have like a little resistance bands and stuff in the back of the RV as well that we've just been too lazy to take out. So we figured we might as well just get it over with, go for a jog. Good scenery too though. Good scenery too. Yeah, yeah that's true. Spot to do it. And it's fun. <laughs> right? All right, let's go. We made it to the red chairs. There they are. I guess they put these up recently, I think recently, and they're like iconic views that you can sit in the red chairs and take in the view. So let's do it. <laughs> this is quite the view. Yeah, wow. Beautiful. So we're gonna have to try and find more of those for sure though. Good viewpoints and make it a thing, getting a few pictures there. But we are back on the jog, taking this little nature path down here to go find the hoodoos in the area apparently. So I guess all around this area, there's the path and then people have been walking off the path kind of like disrupting the nature, I guess, that's there. So Parks Canada, oh my gosh, my breath. <laughs> Dug up the soil that was previously compacted from people walking on it and then added some local vegetation on top and then added this kind of like white faux moss stuff on top to help it retain water. So they're doing their job to rehabilitate the area here, which is pretty cool. So the 
only had one big hoodoo. There's a whole bunch by Drumheller in the Badlands of Alberta. We'll probably be there. So it'll be next video most likely here, but more hoodoos to come. Dinosaurs. Yeah, dinosaurs. <laughs> but back to the jog, back to the campground, and then we're going to go see Banff downtown? Yeah, Banff downtown. I thought I just heard an owl. I was trying to look for it, but couldn't find it. Nope. And I'm getting a haircut apparently. It's gotten so long, I'm just wearing my hat everywhere. Haircut day. So we've got like a harness for our cat and a leash and way back when we had our condo and everything we'd try and take her out every once in a while like on the patio and just trying to like get her used to the outdoors because we knew that we would be going on this trip and that it would be nice to have her like on a leash outside when we're sitting outside and stuff with us. She has been just like nervous of the outdoors, but she loves looking at the outdoors. We've tried taking her out a few times on the leash and she just gets really scared and wants to go back inside, but she'll spend like all day just sitting here looking outside. Don't you just want to walk around out there with your leash? It'd be fun. Every time that we do take her out on the leash though, she's a little bit more calm, so I feel like if we just keep reintroducing her to the outdoors on her leash, she'll get used to it. I believe in you, kitty. There we are, hair is cut. Back to my usual self and it feels great. So now that that's taken care of, we are going to head into Banff town, check out the town for a little bit. Let's go. Okay, so we're all freshened up and we're on the bus to downtown. No gondola, we're gonna save the gondola for the way back through Canada, it's stormy today. Yeah, we haven't had much luck with the weather, so we're just gonna save the gondola for a good day. Yeah, it'll be pretty in fall time anyways and hopefully we'll have some sunshine. No point going when there's thunderstorms up there, so save that for the way back. There's an elk. Oh, there he goes. Whoa. <laughs> this is the first like big wildlife that we've seen in Ben so far. Haha. That's what I need. Beaver tooth. We decided that we want to collect some magnets at some of the places that we visited on our trip. So we got a really cool Hi. one here. Look at how cool this magnet is! It's gonna look good in our RV. Both are the great at your service. <laughs> my word. It's wise to return home with souvenirs to remember your travels. Take a look around Banff Western Outfitters or just next door and return to Zoltar for more words of wisdom. So we took our dollar to tell us to go buy tourism stuff? Stupid Zoltar. <laughs> Oh boy, we found the candy store. How about we both get to pick one candy? One? Yeah. One bag. Yeah, like one thing. Uh -huh. Deal? Deal. Saltwater taffies. Look at this view through town here. There's big mountains on every side of you basically, but that's killer. This is a super cool town with all these rustic buildings too. Really cool here. Downtown was pretty fun here, I would say. Mm -hmm. Nice little rustic-y type village setting. Lots of good tourist stores, a bunch of restaurants and a whole bunch of that sort of thing. We're walking the Bow Valley River right now here. And then we're packing up probably tonight and getting ready to hit the road tomorrow. Yep. Canmore, next stop. And that's a wrap for downtown. But well, we got some candy for tonight. Yeah, I automatically picked the saltwater taffy because I love it. And I got an extra big bag because Luke said he wants some too. I'm gonna be snacking, so I might as well prepare, otherwise I'll eat all hers anyway. Then we got these Coca-Cola ball jawbreaker things. Little silver jawbreaker Coca-Cola balls. Yeah, these are classic. I got a 27 inch snake gummy worm, it said. When we get home, we'll have to measure that sucker and see if we got the whole 27 inch deal out of it. Or if that snake's coming in short. This is the killer view of the mountain in front of me. That is the big mountain back there behind me. Surrounded by those big beautiful beauties. Woo. She's breathing heavy. What was that? Kitty, what was that? Snake is coming in a little short, but I'll give it to him. It's probably hard wrangling and measuring these fellas. I'm getting just under 25 inches of the randomly proclaimed 27. Burgers tonight.
Whoosh. My grill's on upside down though. Oops. Kitty's such a show off too. As soon as that guy starts walking around over there, she jumps up over here and gets everyone looking at us. You're a popular cat, aren't you? Are you sure want to be? Join us next time when we stop by Cascade Ponds on our way out of Banff National Park and head to the neighboring city of Canmore. <laughs>